It is that time of year when unwanted guests start arriving in the Valley neighborhoods. I'm talking about roof rats, so how can you keep them away? The city of Tempe is holding a prevention meeting actually tonight, and they're not the only ones working on this problem. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang is live at the Scottsdale Elks Lodge, and Kimberly, they're uh, offering a solution here that may help a lot of people. Yeah, Connie, if you've ever had roof rats, you know what a big problem it can be. A pair of these guys can actually, get this, lead to about a thousand more baby roof rats. And that's why you just don't want them in your house. Now, here at the Scottsdale Elks Lodge, they're taking in donations of citrus fruit because this is really what roof rats are attracted to. So make a donation. They'll bring it to a food bank. It's a win-win situation. Joining me this morning, Barry Paisley, a roof rat expert. All right, let's talk about why this is such a big problem. What kind of damage can roof rats do to your home? The big one is they'll get into your cars, chew up your wiring harness, and you're in to the dealership for about $1,000. But they'll do the same thing in a house. But you'll see how destructive they are. And uh, the fruit itself, they uh, you'll see that the number one indicator here is that they're hollowing that uh, fruit out. So uh, we want to get rid of them. Uh, they really reproduce, like you said, number one and number two, that destructive nature. All right, and, and we talked earlier about the top communities with a roof rat problem. What are the three here in the valley that you've noticed a big roof rat right infestation? Right now it's really growing in the South Tempe, Chandler, Mesa area. So that tonight's meeting, uh, everybody's invited in the East Valley to come out and uh, get these tips on how to keep rats out of your neighborhood and if you have them, how to get rid of them. Take a look inside of this cage because you say these are indicators that you have a roof rat problem, right? This is what you'll see, you'll see the fruit here. Tell me right, what this is. The number one indicator is is that you have fully hollowed out fruit. Uh, birds will peck at it, but when you find hollowed out fruit, you have roof rats. Uh, there are other things, and, and they are omnivorous. They're going to eat everything, and uh, citrus really gets the the. Uh, indicator that you have roof rats so that's why call it out fruit that's yeah. what you need to look for right. okay Barry we're out of time thank Good. you for joining us thank this you. morning all right the informational meeting is in Tempe from 6 to 7 30 the information's there on your screen it's also on our website abc15.com and Connie if you go to the meeting they'll have some of these bait traps available for sale and they'll talk about more on how to use them if you do have a problem in oh. your home now okay and I know Barry has been a longtime champion of getting rid of those roof rats in the valley there's an, uh, a YouTube video of him as well showing you how to set traps and things so lots of information out there Kimberly thank you very much nice to uh, nice to see you there those roof rats are not too adorable I have to have to say